In the late 1990s, in North Carolina, two persons purchased cigarettes in huge quantities and smuggled them to states like Michigan where cigarette rates were very high. These deals made huge profits for them. Their business was flourishing daily, but in the late 90s, the sheriff's office suspected them and it started an investigation. Later, many other departments like the police, the FBI, the Diplomatic Security Service, and the Canadian Security Intelligence Service were also involved in the investigation. Investigations revealed a complicated web of additional defendants and crimes, including money laundering, terrorism support, and immigration violations. These investigations revealed Hezbollah's involvement in these crimes, with the profits from these activities being funneled to the organization. But how exactly was Hezbollah involved in a far-off place like America, and what other funding sources does it have? We'll explore all of this in the video. It is 1982, and Lebanon is engulfed by the deadly civil war of its history. In this situation, Israel also invades Lebanon. Two days after the Israeli invasion of Lebanon, IDF forces were ambushed by 50 Shia fighters. It is opined that Hezbollah was founded on that day. Hezbollah is not only a military organization, but also a political one. It runs many service networks, which include schools, hospitals, clinics, and welfare programs. So Hezbollah needs funding for its military operations, social services, and political activities. This region in Latin America between Paraguay, Argentina, and Brazil is called the Tri-Border Area. It is known for its porous borders, weak law enforcement, and robust smuggling economy, making it an ideal environment for illicit activities. During the Lebanon Civil War, many of its citizens migrated to this region. Now this is home to a sizable Lebanese Shia community. Hezbollah made various connections in this region via its citizens. Initially, its activities focused on fundraising through legitimate businesses and community support. However, over time, they expanded into illicit activities to generate more substantial funds and were involved in illegal activities like drug trafficking and money laundering. It collaborated with local criminal organizations and drug cartels, helping to smuggle cocaine and other drugs from South America to Europe and the Middle East. It has also established ties with South American drug cartels to move narcotics globally. This collaboration includes moving cocaine from Colombia and other drug-producing countries through the tri-border area. Some estimates suggest that Hezbollah's operations in this region generate tens of millions of dollars annually. This region is still the second highest funding source of Hezbollah. On the 17th March 1992, a pickup truck driven by a suicide bomber and loaded with explosives smashed into the front of the Israeli embassy located in Argentina and detonated. The embassy, a Catholic church, and a nearby school building were destroyed. Four Israelis died, but most of the victims were Argentine civilians, many of them children. The blast killed 29 and wounded 242. Another such incident occurred in July 1994, when a truck bomb exploded near the Argentine Jewish Community Center building, killing 85 people and injuring hundreds more. A suicide driver blew up a van filled with explosives, destroying the headquarters of the Jewish community known as Amia, killing 85 people and wounding more than 200. Investigators feel certain that the Lebanese Shiite Muslim group Hezbollah, ordered by Iran, carried out this crime. This was the most devastating attack in Argentinian history. After investigations, the Argentinian government found that Iran and Hezbollah were behind these attacks. These attacks show how Hezbollah had deeply penetrated this region. Hezbollah's biggest supporter is Iran. It is believed to fund Hezbollah at least $100 million per year. Some of this financial support comes in cash funds, while much is believed to come in the form of material goods such as weapons. 
Iranian cargo planes deliver sophisticated weaponry, from rockets to small arms, to Hezbollah in regular flights to Damascus from Tehran. These weapons are offloaded in Syria and trucked to Hezbollah camps in Lebanon's Bekaa Valley. Iran also provides Hezbollah with less through the training and logistical operation support it provides the group. According to expert opinions included in the Argentinian court document, it is well known that Hezbollah operatives often receive training in Iran. In addition, Hezbollah prefers outside operatives to local contacts when running its major operations in other countries. Iran has also given consistent logistical support to Hezbollah establishing training programs and camps. In these camps, troops are trained to use weapons and drones. Some of the known charities associated with Hezbollah include Al-Imdad Charity Association. It provides social services to the poor and needy in Lebanon. Martyrs Foundation. It offers financial aid to the families of Hezbollah fighters killed in conflicts. Jihad Albina. It is an organization involved in post-war reconstruction and infrastructure development, also used as a means to garner financial support. Hezbollah raises money through fundraising efforts in Shia religious institutions, such as mosques and religious centers in Lebanon and abroad. During religious events, particularly around occasions such as Ashura, a significant event in the Shia calendar, Hezbollah-linked groups often collect donations from attendees. Syria's support for Hezbollah has been a strategic and multifaceted relationship that has evolved since the group's founding in the early 1980s. Syria has acted as a key conduit for weapons deliveries from Iran to Hezbollah. These include small arms, rockets, and advanced missile systems. Syrian territory serves as a critical logistical route for arms that reach Hezbollah fighters in Lebanon. Syrian military officers have provided Hezbollah with training in guerrilla warfare and tactics. Syrian intelligence has also worked closely with Hezbollah to coordinate military operations, especially during conflicts with Israel. Iran long denied supplying Hezbollah with weapons, despite persistent reports to the contrary. In a 2016 speech, Hassan Nasrallah publicly announced for the first time that all of his organization's funding comes directly from Iran the budget of Hezbollah, its salaries, its expenses, its food, its drink, its weapons, and its missiles come from the Islamic Republic of Iran. Nasrallah added that the funding is directly transferred to the group, not through banks and other financial institutions. Hezbollah receives significant financial support from the contributions of Hezbollah supporters living abroad, particularly from Lebanese nationals living in Africa, South America, and other places with large Lebanese Shia expatriate communities. There are some other funding sources of Hezbollah-like, commercial enterprises, business ventures, social welfare networks, and foreign investments and partnerships.